Stevenson is a very special place. The whole idea is the student is at the center of all that we are doing. We have a group of unbelievably committed faculty and administrators who are able to use that child as the guiding light. To cultivate a culture of learning by which the student's learning process is at the center of the experience. The school day doesn't start until 8 o'clock, but students actually begin to arrive here at 7.15 in the morning. Every day begins with that level of excitement to be here. It's fun. We're all here to support each other. We're like literally a family. <laughs> Stevenson just provides a safe environment. So you can focus on learning academically and also ethically and emotionally. What makes Stevenson distinct is that we are not a school. We are a community of learners that invites and encourages people to be safe to become who they really want to be in the world. It's paramount for a human being to feel and understand that they're seen. So if there's a room full of 30 students and they're all in a row and you're the 29th kid in the back row, you can coast. The ratio between the student and the teacher is actually quite critical, especially in the primary years. Our co-teaching model is absolutely unique. We made a really high priority to have two fully trained, highly qualified teachers in every classroom, kindergarten through grade four. Two brains are better than one and teachers needed another adult in there to help hold one another accountable and responsible for the work that they were doing to learn how to collaborate and how to engage in building and designing curriculum. My teaching partner and myself have very different ways of looking at things. The beauty behind that is not every learner is going to learn the same way. Ultimately, it comes down to teachers being really well trained in child development and then have a whole kit of tools to reach kids. Starting in pre-K and then we carry through the division, we use a program called Toolbox. There's something called the Patience Tool. If you say something and I completely lose my temper, that will completely throw the whole conversation off the rails. I was using the Quiet Safe Place tool. I just went up to my room and um, took some deep breaths. One of the things that helped me grow was the listening skill. Whenever someone's speaking, you have to give your full body attention to that person, just like Harkness discussion. Having said that, what are some... When you walk into a classroom here in the lower school, there's no teacher desk, there's no student desks. Each student has an opportunity to express themselves and be heard. More you get to see everybody, and you really get to be involved with the discussion that you're having. We are constantly trying to create a space that's safe for the kids to feel like they can take a risk, they can make a guess, they can try something that they haven't tried before. As a teacher, I have a lot of flexibility in what I teach and how I teach it. I'm able to see what the needs of my students are. When the teacher tailors it to you, it really helps you. It gives you different options and shows you the different ways to learn. The activity was jumping jacks, bringing math to life, having them collect their own data, create tables, make graphs, and then eventually make equations. Putting it in a sequence and finding out why those things are important and how that drives our thinking based on certain issues is what we're trying to teach kids within the human these now. Entering into fifth grade is this really big developmental leap for kids. The physical transition from one classroom to the next, it's part of what they're learning and it's a reality for whatever their next step is outside of this place. We have an eight-day rotating schedule so students are able to have other classes so they have a really rich program. We have woodshop, cooking, photography, art, music, dance. Swimming, volleyball, tennis, golf, water polo. At the end of the academic day, around 3 or 3.30, depending on the division of our student body, engage in our after-school program that involves snorkeling, surfing, horseback riding. There's a really robust robotics program. You name it, the student body gains access to all sorts of extracurricular programs. Be able to walk down to the beach. We do that often. We call that teach at the beach. Fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth grade are all out for outdoor education and science camp. They spend a week with their teachers backpacking and caving. It's an experience where they're getting to know their teachers and their classmates in a way that's a lot different. I mean, Yosemite for a week, who can beat that? The majority of the student body at this school arrives here at 7.30 in the morning and they don't leave us until 5 or 6 o'clock at night. They will spend more time on this campus than any other place for the better part of the next decade of their life. This place is more than just a school. It's everything to them. 
the people here, the place, the infrastructure. This is their home. I am just super pumped to be with them and they deserve to have people that really delight in who they are. That partnership is something that we take really seriously and so we want parents who are invested. We want parents to have an accurate picture of what it is that their child is experiencing every day. By the time they're ready for the academic rigor of high school, They've already been through small challenges that they can relate to and then look back and recall and say, oh, I used this in fourth grade. Let me see if that'll work in ninth grade. Learning that at such a young age basically sets us in the right direction.